Hello, my name is Chrissy Bowie, and this is a short presentation exploring the construct of theory in postgraduate research. So the presentation is trying to answer the question, what is theory? All postgraduate research, regardless of its level, whether it's honours, masters, or doctoral level research, and also regardless of the subject area, needs theory. Sometimes, theory used in a particular area is so accepted, so taken for granted, that no one bothers to state it up front. That means that there's no explicit description of the theory being used to inform the research, to underpin the research. The theory itself might not even be mentioned. It's not there stated up front. But that doesn't mean that there is no theory. Rather, it's that the theory is hidden, it's covert. And this is often the case in the natural sciences, where the theories are so agreed upon that researchers and postgraduate students can just begin with that assumption and, and move forward with describing the actual research design and so on. In some areas, however, theory needs to be named, explained, and its use justified explicitly. And where this is the case, the proposal, for example, has to argue for the use of a particular theory or theories. And then that theory needs to permeate the entire thesis. Literally, every single chapter of the thesis is informed by the theory, is based on, draws upon the theory. Theory affects the research questions and the way they're phrased in a study, the design of a study, the research methods and techniques that are used, the way the analysis is conducted. And theory also affects the language of the thesis and the style used to write it. So theory is everywhere in a piece of research and in the report, the, the thesis, the dissertation, whatever you want to call it, that reports on that research. If theory is so important, what is it? What is this thing that we have to get in our postgraduate work? Well, theory is like a pair of glasses. And like a pair of glasses, theory allows us to see and therefore make sense of the world differently. When you wear a pair of glasses, you look through the lens and you see things you couldn't see before, or you see things differently. Theory works just like that. It allows you to see and understand the object of your study in a different way. Theory also allows you to imagine other worlds and other ways of being because of the concepts it gives us to explore the world. Once we have a theory and we see the world in abstract rather than concrete terms, we can use those concepts and their links within the theory to begin to imagine another world. Theory is therefore a very powerful tool in research. So the question is, which theoretical glasses, which theory, are you going to wear for your research? That means asking yourself what you want to look at and how you want to look at that thing. What is it that you want to see in your study? And which theory will best allow you to see what you want to see?